So I'm going to go into Dynamics 365. For those of you who are on AX 2012, you'll notice that Dynamics 365 is a web-based client. You no longer need to RDP into anywhere or open up a separate program. It is simply go open up your web browser, whichever one you like, go to a certain link, put in your username and login, and you're on the system. Note that Microsoft has released a new multi-factor authentication. So now when you log in, you either have to put in a code that gets texted to you. So those features are available now as well. And so that's something to be cognizant of. So what you see on my screen is the main page for Dynamics 365. What you see over here are called workspaces. Workspaces are amalgamations of links and KPIs and other areas that would be useful to you when you're doing a specific task. All these workspaces are configurable to each individual user. You'll notice that I have a number of them on my screen. This is because I'm a system administrator. Your security role will dictate which of these workspaces you have access to. And from there, you'll be able to do whatever it is that you do on your day-to-day -day basis. So let's get into some of the new features. Let's go over to fixed assets. So I'm gonna open another tab. Another great thing about D365, right click and duplicate, open yourself up as many tabs as you'd like. It's fantastic. Fixed assets. So there hasn't been a great deal of change in fixed assets, but there's one big change that I wanna highlight. Some of you may be familiar with the term continuity schedule. It can be called a number of different things, but it is a report where you specify a from date and a to date. And you say, what was my asset balances on the from date? So how much did I have? What was my total depreciation, disposals, all that fun stuff. What happened in the intervening period? And then what were my balances at the end date? This is a report auditors really like, and it's one that I've had to customize on a number of occasions. So in Dynamics 365, this was recently released as a report. So that exists under fixed asset as a fixed asset roll forward. So you choose your from date, your to date, currency, and then you choose your mapping. Now, if you're following along at home, or if you are going to do this at a later time, when you hit this dropdown, you'll find that it may, and most likely will be blank. Part of D365 was they launched a workspace called electronic reporting. And what electronic reporting is, under workspaces, is it's a separate repository of reports. So you see here, I can go into repositories and then you need to have this LCS one. If it's not there, go to add and choose LCS and create a repository. And these are a number of reports that are not there by default, but you can import in. The vast majority of these are localization or region specific reports, such as tax reporting for different countries. But one of the ones that's in there is your roll forward report. So I'll hit open, this takes forever to open, and then I was going to do it before the webinar, but then the screen just times out. So it's just go do this and you'll see it. But what happens is, is that you then have to import your roll forward report. But then it comes in here. And then much like most reports, you can choose to filter it for a specific group or a specific location. But one of the things you'll notice is that you don't have a output screen because this is not an SSRS report. You can't put it to screen. You can't get it emailed. The only thing you can do is you can get a downloaded copy in Excel. So when I hit OK, there indeed is my roll forward. So when I open this up, here's my report. It's pretty nice. So you can see this is my company in a totality. So this was the opening balance of my assets. This was the closing. This was how many acquisitions I had, my total depreciation in the period, my disposals, all to give me my net book value, which is over here. And then further down, you have it broken out by group. So this is my buildings group and then each individual asset. So a great report. So you no longer need to have this customized. Just make sure you import it using that electronic reporting. 